When using the plane, it's important to keep all the previous principles in which I'm talking about in place. As you can see, I have the piece parallel to in the vise and using the boxing stance. This is to provide good control and balance and accuracy over the tool and also over the piece of material. As you can see, I'm putting equal pressure from the toe all the way to the heel across the piece of material. This keeps the plane level on the piece and prevents you from rounding the corners. As you can see, my wrist, elbow and shoulder are all in one line. After planing, a shaving from the piece of material is provided. This shows if you are taking off equal material all the way across the piece as shown in the video. Another key principle in using the plane is in the direction of which you're planing. It is very important to always plane in the direction of the grain. So when you're planing, you're always planing with the grain as shown in the video. You, in the video, you can see that this piece, that the grain is running parallel to the surface. But when we want to plane the cut angle, we now see the direction in which the grain is running. So the key principle in planing is always plane with the grain. When we look at the top piece, we can see that when you're planing, that if you were planing against the grain, it would begin to chip up the fibers and provide a very rough finish. So this is why we're going to plane with the grain and not against the grain. So going back to the previous principle, it's always important to keep your piece that you're planing parallel to the vise and parallel to the workbench to ensure that when you're planing it's easy for you and provides less strain when planing. So when we begin to plane with the grain it's pressing the fibres down into the wood and removing the material in which we want to remove. This is why it's important to plane with the grain all the time as you are compressing the fibres down into the wood.